For designers, passive income can mean extra cash every month without having to find new clients all the time. In today's video, I'll teach you eight passive income ideas for designers who need more revenue in their design business. Hi everyone, I'm Dorian from Milo.co where we provide tips and tricks for freelance designers to level up their business. And today, I'll reveal eight ideas to make passive income as a designer. Making passive income as a graphic designer can create feelings of frustration and sometimes disappointment. But with today's tips, you'll learn how passive income can create a nice low maintenance addition to your revenue every month and how some designers master this art so well their entire business is built on it. Whether you want to make a few extra hundred dollars each month on the side or build a six figure passive income business, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Number one upcycle unused design elements. As you go about working with clients, you undoubtedly have unused design elements that ultimately get scrapped or discarded. However, when thinking strategically, rather than throwing away those unused designs, take this opportunity to upcycle them for passive income. You may be asking yourself, how can I upcycle my work to generate passive income? As a simple example, take a look at Ben Brush. Ben developed seven ways he can personally turn unused work into passive income. By selling them as stock art, turning them into prints, writing tutorial blogs that pay writers, and much more. If you're interested in learning more about Ben's seven examples, go ahead and follow the link in the description below. Number two, develop and sell design products. One of the most common ways a designer can generate passive income is by selling their design elements or resources on marketplaces like Creative Market or Design Cuts. One designer who is extremely experienced at building passive income is Dustin Lee. In one of Dustin's videos, he recommends observing what works best for fellow designers in the design marketplace and then simply improving on popular items there. He even went so far to say, there's no special award or merit badge you can get for inventing some sort of new product that's never existed. In fact, it's probably the easiest way to fail because there's no way to verify it makes money. Seeing what's popular on something like Creative Market allows you to confidently make something and see what's doing well and improve upon that to make money. In other words, if you're thinking to create designs from scratch in hopes of obtaining passive income at some point, you should really familiarize yourself with that market to make any types of sales. If you're enjoying today's video and finding this information to be helpful, go ahead and press the subscribe button and leave us a like so we can continue creating helpful freelancing videos for designers like you. Number three, sell your design knowledge. Whether you realize it or not, as a designer, you have an arsenal of special skills and talents that not many others have, but a lot of people want. Even though you may spend most of your days hanging out on graphic design blogs or other design communities, most people aren't designers. This leaves a knowledge gap that you can easily fill through teaching via online courses, eBooks, and many other learning platforms. Just by simply creating it once, you can sell it repeatedly. That's passive income at its finest. With sites like Udemy and Skillshare, designers can create their own courses to generate passive income. Another fantastic idea is to recommend resources to your clients that generate passive income. You can recommend certain services to your clients that include an affiliate payout for you as the designer. For example, web designers could recommend their clients to use WP Engine who has a nice affiliate program paying $100 or more for every client you sign up. Or if you work with small businesses, consider recommending FreshBooks, which gives up to $300 per referral, or Gusto, which offers $300 per referral as well. Number four, build an audience. If you like the above ideas of referral or affiliate marketing as a way of generating passive income, then you need to focus on building a larger audience. For example, the Milo.co blog was started 10 years ago and over time has attracted loyal readers and newcomers who have discovered us from Google. So when we link to a resource like Hectic or QuickBooks and people click to make a purchase, we get a small kickback. This passive income business model allows us to continue generating high quality content for designers on a regular basis and you can do the same. Though growing an audience isn't the quickest route to passive income, if you stick around for the long term, your hard work and patience will pay off. 
Number five, become an affiliate for design resources. If you use a certain resource constantly and recommend it to your fellow designers, you might want to consider becoming an affiliate with that resource. Similar to our last entry, by referring designers to helpful tools, you can reap some of the benefits. For example, did you know that by recommending Adobe products like Photoshop or Illustrator to your friends and fellow designers, you can receive an affiliate payout? You can join Creative Market's affiliate program, so when fellow designers ask for help finding the perfect background texture, you can send them an affiliate link and build some passive income. Number six, build passive upsells into your current workflow. Another quick way to help generate passive income is to examine your workflow. Are there any potential upsells for extra revenue you can attach to your project? A good example are additional rights. Defining what rights your clients will receive should already be within your initial negotiation, leaving no extra effort or cost on your end, leading your client to purchase additional rights, releases, or usage permissions around the work you give them. Another more passive idea is to generate more income by offering retainer services after projects are completed or including educational or maintenance documents like a how-to guide for WordPress designers or a brand guide. Number seven, capitalize on big design trends and tools. Make sure to stay up to date with current graphic design trends and tools for designers. For example, our friend Ian Bernard is a very talented hand letterer. As his Instagram began to grow, he started to notice patterns in the questions he was getting from his process videos. From that, he released tons of high quality brushes and grid builders to help designers excel at hand lettering themselves. Some educational trends may also be beneficial like creating a Udemy course, ebook, or other resources around switching from Photoshop to Sketch. At a minimum, you can always incorporate Dustin's advice as we discussed previously to see if you can improve on it and release something better than what's currently out. Number eight, build a reoccurring revenue design business. And finally, building a reoccurring revenue design business is a fantastic way to better grow passive income. So here's a few options you can go about doing that. You can learn from Jake who pivoted from calling himself a web designer and charging hourly to calling himself a creative director and charging on a regular basis. We'll link to Jake's story below. Or go check out our podcast below with Chelsea Baldwin who built a 300K a year reoccurring revenue business on the back of her freelance writing career. Alternatively, you could also build a subscription-based business focused on your skill set, kind of like Russ Perry. Russ built Design Pickle and now has over thousands of customers paying hundreds of dollars a month for his unlimited design service. And that's it. Eight simple ways to start growing your passive income as a designer. I hope this video both excited you and educated you in the process of building passive income. That's all for now, guys. My name is Dorian from Milo.co. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos to grow your business. We'll see you soon.